My name is Eunice and I work as an early intervention specialist but I'm taking a career break uh, to pursue further studies now. My father was very loving. He was my best friend. He was also my teacher. He also used to like buy me a lot of food. Um, we used to enjoy a lot of food together. Yeah, so one day he came home and then he had durians with him and then he sat all of us down on the sofa and he was very serious and he said that he has cancer and we're like, what? Um, my dad found out about his cancer when he then uh, had to go to his doctors for um, like just follow-ups to make sure that everything was okay so in that process, they found out that there was pancreatic cancer I think it was like a tumour or something he was very uncomfortable with like his little girl being the one to like, take care of him. So he was very macho about it. I think the only time when he kind of was more vulnerable was when he really had no choice. Um, when he was kind of like more or less bedridden or like almost there. Then he had to rely on us more. So there was a point where my father started um, throwing up a lot. Like his vomit looked like coffee beans. So it turns out that it was digested blood. From then onwards, like the care that we had to provide for him at home was a bit different. Um, so then the um, MWS home care and home hospice team um, came over. I think there was Dr. Andy and um, Nurse Melissa at first. Uh, towards the earlier stages, um, Nurse Melissa was checking whether I knew what I was doing. I, I did the whole process for her. I opened the, the medicine vial. So you had to like crack it open and then you had to like use a syringe and then like get it in and then make sure all the bubbles are out and then like get it to the correct level and then cap it and then put it in the fridge. So I remember showing her, she was very encouraging. I think I probably was not very good at it, but she made me feel like, okay, I got this. Like most of all, I'm so thankful that because their team came in to support us. Um, I had a chance to take care of my dad um, for one week. One week where my dad did not like tell me to go away or leave him alone or like, you know, he can do it by himself. Like one week where he just accepted my care. Yeah, without their support, like I wouldn't have had that one week. He would have had to go to the hospital or he would have, you know, had to go to whatever home that had a space that he maybe didn't like. Um, so I'm really, really, really grateful for that.